Okay, welcome back, folks. Um, here's a pendulum problem. So, in blue, we have the position of the pendulum at three points, A, B, and C. So, the pendulum is released from A, um, and at that point, the cord makes an angle of theta A with the vertical. We're going to assume the pendulum is friction frictionless, and we want to find the speed of the pendulum at the lowest point, B. And that's when the lowest point is when the cord is perfectly vertical. Okay, the only force at work in this is gravity. So we're able to use conservation of mechanical energy for the solution. Uh, I drew in here um, tension force that's along the cord and the weight force uh, that's always vertically downward towards the earth. Uh, those are the directions of the forces at point A. They're, of course, going to be different at B and C, but we're just going to deal with A for the moment. All right, so the mechanical energy, total mechanical energy at A equals the total mechanical energy at B. All right, which mechanical energy is kinetic? plus potential, and that's got to equal the kinetic um, plus the potential at B. It's released from rest, so we know that this is zero. All right, so let's, let's pull these over to the side and, um, and uh, write these terms out separately. The potential energy at A is going to be m g times the height h sub a, which is going to be uh, I don't need that parentheses there. M g times. Now go back up to my diagram here. I made this line up here my y equals zero line all right so that means that at a this is how far i am from a and since this or this is how far i am from y equals zero to a and since it's below the y equals zero it's a negative okay so this in MGH, this is the height of A. Um, the potential energy at B, same form, is still going to be MG. That hasn't changed. And it's still going to be negative because it's still below. But now, it's just L, a negative L. The length of the, uh, the cord. Kinetic energy at B is one half the mass times the velocity at B squared. All right, so now we're going to put those things, those quantities in and simplify. So UA is minus MGL cosine theta A. All right, that's just this right here. That equals the kinetic energy at B, which is one half m v b squared minus m g l. Now we have mass in all of these. We can get rid of the mass. Let's rearrange. So one half m v b squared and then let's see we can factor out um, a G and an L and it's gonna be 1 minus cosine theta a multiply both sides by 2 oops that M shouldn't be there right we got rid of that it should just be one half 
uh, multiply both sides by 2. Velocity of b squared equals 2 gl times 1 minus cosine theta a. So vb, the velocity at b, just is the square root of 2 gl, 1 minus cosine theta a. All right, now what if we're asked, what is the tension? Is the tension in uh, the cord at point B? And we would call that T sub B. All right. Well, let's look at uh, let's look at the uh, pendulum bob at that point. Here's the pendulum bob, and it's going to have a tension force going vertically upward, and it's going to have mg going vertically downward toward the Earth. Now, at this point in time, it's moving. It's instantaneous velocity direction is this way, but that's not a force, because that's its velocity. So th that's just for reference. This is um, direction of movement at point B. All right, that doesn't go into our free body diagram, but it's just, just there to remind us how this thing's moving. Now, remember this thing is moving like this, right? So this, the pendulum is in rotation about a center. Wherever it's, wherever it's anchored up here, this is the center of rotation. And we know that anything that's rotating like that will have a centripetal acceleration. Okay, so it's going to have a centripetal acceleration. We're going to call it AR. And that's going to equal V squared over R. Um, for our purposes, because we're interested in V at B, VB squared over R. And R equals L. That's the, the distance that we gave, or the length of the cord. So in this problem, AR is the velocity of B squared over the length of the cord. The centripetal force is just the mass times the centripetal acceleration is mvb squared over l. Okay, well now we can we can work on a force balance. So the sum of the forces in the radial direction we know that that has to equal mv squared over over r. So that's that's got to equal mvb squared over L. But the uh, that force balance is T in the positive direction minus mg, mg in the negative direction. Okay, these are the only two forces acting up here. So if we rearrange this, that gives us T equals m g plus m v b squared over l now we have we have an expression for v b for v b squared even from up above um, 2 g l 2 g l times 1 minus cosine theta a cosine theta a 
Okay, we're going to substitute this into here. So the tension equals mass times acceleration due to gravity plus mass times 2 g l times 1 minus cosine theta a over l. Now we see that the l's go away. And we see we can pull out an mg here. So tension equals m g let's see times um, 1 minus 2 times 1 minus cosine theta a okay do a little algebra there and you end up with the tension is mg um, times 3 minus 2 cosine theta a okay so um, that's tension at B because we substituted in the velocity of B okay all right that makes um, that pendulum problem a lot easier to deal with the uh, using conservation of energy okay that's all for this one see you later folks